Yo, what is up guys, Johnny Geiger here. In today's video, we're gonna learn the hardest trick ever done at Battle at the Barracks. Yeah, this guy playing right here made it happen. Just recently, we tried to land the hardest tricks of Battle at the Barracks, like all of them, in one day. And we actually ended up landing a good amount of tricks in like two hours. But there were some that got away. And today it's gonna happen, we're gonna dare to try the champion trick. Like the number one top spot, according to Real Dump Data, playing right now. Tried this trick, he landed it as a death blow against Mike Mo. Done by none other than the legend Shane O'Neill, one of the best flag round skaters ever on this planet and of course one of the best skaters in general one of the best street skaters he's been blessing us with the cleanest street footage for like over a decade and to me it's just a conundrum how you can make hard tricks like that like super technical actual impossible tricks and you land them and at the same time you make them look easy Railway super clean. That's Shane O'Neill. His black round game is on another level too. Never became a BA to B champion. He got very close to it several times. So that was a quick summary of his persona. And now let's have a closer look at the trick. Yeah, I think I'm not leaning too far out of the window if I'm saying that not many people on this planet have done this. The easier version of the trick, of course, would be to do it regular which we done eight years ago. And ever since we done it a few times, we been going after that switch is on a whole new level. But there's no way around it. We gotta do this trick as well. I, I think I already mastered the most difficult part of it, the switch tray double flip. Already landed this a few times, but adding a body rotation 180 on top of that is just another story. And we'll see how it goes. You're about to see a quick warm up session. I was practicing flat. A little bit since it made sense I guess for whenever my battle is gonna happen. Let's watch that first. Okay, mellow flag round session. Actually haven't had a lot of these in the past months since I've only been working on like crazy flag round tricks and not like more the basic tricks. There were also some accusations in the comments that I like uh, take this extra time to practice all the time. But that's not the truth. Like uh, I actually can count the amount of game of skates I've been playing this year with this hand. Three games, that's all. Maybe I should stop it, maybe not, but I just spent too much time on landing on the side of my board. Here's some proof. Yeah, half cap heel, primo slide, uh, went down within five tries. Thrilled to show you this and we'll continue with switch big spin double flips. So the first step of going after that trick was to learn switch big flips. I also landed that one a long time ago, but ever since, never redone it. And I never got the trick too clean, so I knew, like, uh, that's how to build up. But I actually like learning tricks. I had to get better at that first, so let's go. <laughs>
First session in after like 70 tries, we get a clean one. But at this point, you can now really talk of consistency. So I had to do it again. Practice is key. All right, that is the current situation. We got snow and ice everywhere. Let's just spend some time drying this area, and that will allow me to skate some flat ground. I don't know if this is gonna happen today. Like that is a decent trick, and I still gotta work on the switch big flips. Depending on how good that trick feels. I might gonna try it or not. Learn it step by step. As I always say in my trick tips, I should lift up to that principle. So let's go, let's do some switch big flips. Still feeling so weird. That was something, typical switch big flip land. I think I'm starting to figure out where to place my feet. Yeah, it's a process of learning. I'm gonna try different, get closer to it, step by step. Let's try to get one clean. I don't know if you wanna know, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. On the regular big flip, less difficult, land it clean, you can just revert it out. Switch, that is a difficult task. That's why I struggle with it. I don't know. Pleasure. My board just fell into the boat. There you go. That was a really, really good one. Wow, huh? so good. So here's what happened after landing a perfect switch one. I felt like I gotta do it for a video in like every stance. And I just done that to get a proper gnarly one. It's quite a task. Series really do motivate me to practice flat. So I'm actually super stoked if you watch them. Like it's so much fun, good practice. Probably gonna upload this soon in every stance. And we'll see how it goes. This run up is kinda like not my favorite. It's going uphill. So let's try to get the Shane O'Neill special. From now on, it's getting like really cold. Oh. That's something, something I can work with. I know, it's bad, but it's something. It kind of works.
Okay, I think we're gonna call it the day. We got a few sketchy lands, but I'm like running out of energy and it doesn't make a lot of sense. It actually hurts a little bit on the toes because you really got all your weight on your front foot toes. Like, it's insanity. Yeah, if my body's still okay, I'm gonna be back tomorrow trying to make it happen before another snowstorm. Oh, uh, got way better at the switch big flip. Also, kind of landed that chin and heel trick, but not the way that I wanted it. Like, he landed it with a tic tac in a game of skate. But in a game of skate, that is fine. He could have done it way cleaner with like more tries, less pressure. He also done it down a stair set. Yeah, what a master at skateboarding. So I said I might was gonna try it the next day, but I was so sore from trying that trick. Like, <laughs> I had to recover for like a week till I went after it again. Du lagt sånn ikke ganske videre ut. And yeah, that's it. That's the one. Uh, I hope you're just as satisfied as I am with the cleanness of that one. It was such a crazy feeling to land it that good. Hyped to like check it off, off the bucket list, caught another one. Thank you Shane and Leo for the big inspiration over all the years. Myself, big fan, watch like every video part multiple times. One more time, thank you for all the good footage you've been providing over the years. And that's the end of the video. You might heard it. I'm a little bit sick. That's why the video has been postponed from Saturday to Sunday. Hope you're not mad at me. Please forgive me. Accept my apologize. If you want to support me, three links in the description, promo, guide your pants and Patreon. Have a great day. Hopefully see you soon back on the channel for another crazy switch double. Whatever trick.